Welcome to Sphere. I am Price Time, and this is Sphere Finance. DeFi offers a wide range of financial opportunities and strategies for a wide variety of users. Some of the key concepts within DeFi are liquidity pools and strategy vaults. There are distinct differences between these two, and it is important to understand those differences so that we can best utilize them for our financial interests. Let's start with the basics, liquidity pools. A liquidity pool is a collection of two or more tokens in a decentralized exchange or automated market maker. Liquidity pools provide a basic but essential function of allowing us to swap between tokens. The deeper the liquidity, meaning the more tokens present in the pool, the lower the swap slippage and the more likely that particular pool will be utilized for swaps. In DeFi, anyone can provide liquidity to a liquidity pool. In exchange, those liquidity providers gain access to swap fees and or emission incentives, typically represented by an annual percentage rate or APR. APR reflects the total yield produced over the course of a year for any given deposit without compounding. Vaults are more ambiguous and can involve liquidity pools or other strategies which can be simple or complex. Keeping things simple, let's consider a Dyson vault for an aerodrome liquidity pool. These vaults are essentially built on top of the liquidity pool. When we deposit into these vaults, the assets are still added to the underlying liquidity pool. The difference is that for these vaults, the liquidity provider fees and or emission incentives are regularly collected, swapped into the underlying assets, and deposited back into the pool to increase our position over time. Thanks to this auto compounding, the vault yield is represented as an annual percentage yield or APY, which is the yearly amount of yield earned including compounding. Another way of thinking of the differences is that with the liquidity pool, the contracts manage deposits and withdrawals into and out of the pool swaps from users buying and selling, and the fee and or emission distribution. With an auto compounding vault, the vault contract functions in such a way as to interact with the pool's contracts to automate the process of compounding the liquidity pool position. And as I mentioned, vaults can also involve more complex strategies and are not limited to liquidity pools or simple auto compounding. Any automated strategized process can be built into a vault, so vaults reflect a much broader realm of DeFi. And there are pros and cons to using liquidity pools versus vaults and vice versa. For example, we may want to have access to our fee and or emission yield for use in other strategies, in which case a liquidity pool may be a better fit. Or we may want to compound and build our initial position, in which case an auto compounding vault may better suit our needs. One way or another, DeFi is full of many unique opportunities, and our goal at Sphere is to build out an ecosystem where there is something available to everyone. We will be adding more vaults to Dyson progressively over time, so be sure to visit us on Discord to stay up to date on announcements and join our community. This video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence in order to make sound financial decisions. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and always remember that you matter for who you are.